blessed, most merciful Heavenly Father, I come before you humbly, Lord, and I beg and I plead, Lord, that you give me the courage, the will, the words, the wisdom to speak, what you've given me to speak. I pray in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. I am just the dust of the earth, and no one is beneath me. And the only thing special about me is that I am forgiven, and I am God's dirt. I see uh, so many pastors tell their congregations that to get back to normal, they must take the very thing that is an abomination to God, the very thing that will change their DNA and thus make them unredeemable to God. It sounds like that what they are saying is that for things to get back to normal and for them to get back into church at some point, they will have to take that abomination. But not only will you be banned from your church, you'll, you will be banned from all stores, all shops, all government buildings, all places where people gather like sports events, restaurants, courthouses, DMV, and you will even lose your job if you refuse to have your DNA altered. Because then will America return to greatness and be the envy of nations again, at least that's what they will tell you. Only then will we get back to normal, and that is what they will tell you. But these pastors fail to realize that America is under judgment, God's judgment, and America will never return to her former glory. What I have been saying for years is that things are only going to get worse and worse. You have China threatening the Philippines and Taiwan. You have Russia invading Ukraine. You have the economic collapse coming down upon us. You have a government in power who is writing law by executive order and not by constitutional law, but by decree. You have another plague that is coming and that with that we will have a, a new uh, lockdown and what we have right now is just a lull in the storm food keeps going up and I said back in 2014 that food would just keep going up and up and up and, and until one day there was no more food you will have record uh, cold and ice storms you will have record heat power outages during the heat and during the cold one day there will be no no power no power means no water Try this experiment for yourself. Go to your circuit breaker box, pull the main switch, and see how long you can live without power. I bet not very long. For most Americans, it would only be minutes, but we will go days and weeks without power. And then one, then one day the power will go out and it will not come back on. Nature is revolting against mankind. You have floods in some areas of the country and droughts in other areas. You will have earthquakes in diverse places. Places not known to be earthquake prone will start shaking. You will have the Cascadia Rift that will rupture big time and cause a massive wall of water to inundate the entire west coast. Then you will have the San Andreas Fault rupture dramatically from the Bay Area all the way to Los Angeles. And that will cause the uh, New Madrid Fault in southeastern Missouri to rupture big time. And that will destroy everything from St. Louis to Memphis. But more than that, it will cause a split in America so dramatic that America will be divided. Just like America divided Israel, God will divide America. You will have volcanoes roaring to life all over the globe, and that is already happening. You will have uplifting in some areas, and you will have lowering in other areas for no apparent reason. I saw an asteroid strike the Atlantic Ocean causing a wall of water several hundred feet high to destroy the entire East Coast. I saw the entire state of Florida beneath the waves. Yes, famine, pestilence, and war coming, along with the Civil War. I know all this is coming not because I read it, or I heard it somewhere, or because I saw a video, but because God showed it to me. We are in the time of sorrows, and it's time to wake up. Next comes the rapture, but I do not know when that will be. The Holy Spirit told me that we are but one breath away from the rapture, but that was a breath of God. 
It seems the church is busy filling people's heads with better times are coming, but they lie. I went to an Easter service and I felt the Holy Spirit tell me it was a voodoo service, complete with a reading of words of men and not the words of God. Then the pastor told us that we all needed to get the abomination to return to normal life. And if that were not enough, we had music by Bethel and Hillsong, the two most apostate churches on the face of the earth. They worship the light bearer. They do not worship Jesus. In a dream, I stood at the judgment table before Jesus being judged. And, I, and in my dream, I never lifted my head. I never looked directly into the eyes of, man, of the man across from me because I knew who he was. And I knew I had done some things wrong that I did not repent for. And so I knew I was in trouble. I knew I was being judged. One day these apostate preachers will stand where I stood being judged by Jesus. But for me, it was a dream. And then I woke up and I got on my knees and I got right with the Lord. I repented of all my sins. But these pastors will not wake up. They will not be given the opportunity to make it right, not like I was. The books will be open and they will be judged. I know it sounds like everything is collapsing and falling apart, but if you're a Christian washed in the blood, you see this time as a great miracle of God and God will reveal himself as never before. So from God's perspective, it's all coming together just like he planned. Everything is perfect in, God, in God's plan. God is still on the throne and God is still in control. Yes, bad times are coming, and God told me to distribute free water filters to anyone in need, and to anyone who wanted one, along with a free Bible, a book, a CD, and literature. And for others, I am offering these at cost for a donation. If you're inter interested in a water filter, please see the comments below for more details. I do not do, do this to make money, as everything that comes in goes out in the way of water filters, Bibles, and books. I just remain a humble servant. My only goal is to be pleasing to God, as pleasing as Enoch was pleasing, so much so that one day God just took him home. My prayer is that I'd be uh, that I'd be that pleasing to God also, that one day God just takes me home as well. Remember, you are much loved and treasured by the Most High Living God, above all the gold of the earth, and God loves you that very much. And Bobby and I love you treasure you as well. It will not be long now. We will be going home. We will be raptured out of here. But I cannot guarantee you just when that will be. And I cannot guarantee you that you will not see some persecution and sorrow while you are here on this earth. We all need to stay strong in the faith of Jesus Christ and his word. Strengthen your resolve because these times will try the weak of faith. So humble yourself Repent, pray, read your King James Bible. God bless you and God keep you safe is our prayer. And Bobby and I will see you on the streets of gold one day very, very soon. With much love and more grace from above. Amen. And I must apologize if you have not received your free water filter, but the response has been phenomenal and I am just now getting caught up with water filters and I am mailing out filters every single day. And uh, yesterday I mailed out 20 water filters alone. So if, if you have not gotten your free water filter, I apologize and your water filter should be going out very, very soon in just the next two or three days. And uh, I am sorry, but I can only offer water filters for USA residents only. If you are interested in a water filter and you live overseas or, or in Canada, uh, please see the link below on how you can build your own water filter from the local parts that you can find in your own country. God bless you and God keep you is our prayer.